People who live close to Palm Springs International Airport may be noticing how quiet things are right now. Air traffic is down a lot. Tonight, we take an I-team look at that big economic issue for the Valley's local economy. Where we should be having, having normally 65 to 70 flights a day uh, this month in peak season, uh, we're, we're about uh, 5 to 10. I talked with Palm Springs City Manager Dr. David Reddy via Zoom. This is what the airport should look like this month. Instead, it's nearly empty. The numbers show how bad it is. In March, traffic was down over 50%, and it's getting worse, much worse. What are the numbers looking like for April right now? Well, you know, we're suspecting it'll be down at least 90 to 95% in April. And it's expensive. We anticipate that have probably at least a, a 10 to $12 million of revenue loss by the end of this fiscal year. Some good news this week, the airport will be getting around $11 million from the federal CARES package. It won't bring back flights on its own, but it will maintain operations without layoffs. Uh, airports are considered essential. So the money gets the airport through the crisis, but does it bring back those flights? Have you been told by any of the airlines they're going to change their plans uh, for next season? Well, and that's the, the difficult part, as you know, right now it's sort of like anyone's guess. It comes at an especially difficult time when the Valley's economy and the airport itself were as strong as ever. Obviously, we're at 3 million passengers a year. We've come a long way. Uh, and so this is a significant, a sig significant negative impact to us. But we've got to be ready to reenter the economy as soon as, as soon as we're able. And just like everything else, that remains the big question. When's that going to be? Again, there have been no layoffs at the airport. The plan is to maintain operations in hopes that airlines will begin adding flights as soon as that's possible.